Hey guys, and welcome to this video on summations. So here in purple, I have the problem. It says determine a closed form solution in terms of n for the following summation. And I have that summation in orange here. And it starts the summation from i equals 0 to n of the summation from j equals 0 to i minus 1 of 2 to the power of j. So first thing we need to do is uh, kind of figure out what this summation here, the summation from j equals 0, to i minus 1 of 2 to the power of j is. And we can use a nice little formula. So here I'm going to put a formula here that we can use to solve this. And the formula states that if the summation goes from j equals 0 to n minus 1 of 2 to the power of j, then that is equal to 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so what we can do now is rewrite our summation, uh, substituting in our second summation with the formula here, or using the formula here. So we have i equals 0 to n. And actually, I'm just going to rewrite our original equation first. So we have the summation from j equals 0 to i minus 1 of 2 to the power of j. Now this is equal to the summation from i equals 0 to n of 2 to the power of i minus 1. And so where did I get this from? Well, again, we're just going to use this formula, and I'm just replacing the n in the formula with i. Okay? So next we're going to use the summation properties to split this up. So we have the summation from i equals 0 to n of 2 to the power of i minus the summation from i equals 0 to n of 1. Okay? So what does this equal? Well, for this first summation here on the left, we can reuse our formula. So this time, instead of us having n minus 1, we have n. So what this really is, if we rewrite this, it's really just n plus 1 minus 1. So that means that we can replace our value n in the formula for n plus 1. All right, so now we're going to get um, 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1. All right, so that's for the left summation there. So then we have a minus sign here, so we're going to subtract whatever this summation equals. So I'm going to put a minus here, and I'm going to put these nice parentheses here as well. So what does that right um, summation equal? Well, there's another formula we can use. And this formula states that if we have a summation from i equals 0 to n of 1, then that is equal to n plus 1. Okay? And so we're going to write this right here as well. So we have n plus 1. All right. So now let's continue solving for our summation. So we had 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 minus we had n plus 1. So uh, minus n plus 1 is just equal to minus n and minus 1. So minus n minus 1. Okay? So this is equal to um, 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus n minus 2. All right? And so that is our answer. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have, comments, likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful and you think it'll be helpful for others, please share it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.